Five by five. You'll be having pressing your T key so you will walk. I, I, I hear you, LZ. I don't have the ability to help him because he says there's no channels. Hot mic. Tim, the audio is breaking up. Okay, Ohm, I'm going to need you to get really proactive. I've got a tank that's despawned here. Some miscellaneous guns in the background.
Zoom let me know. Zoom let me know when you're ready and I'll call the uh, We're prepping for assembly. Let me know when you're ready. Understood. are about to assemble as we begin this memorial what your instructions are you have your squad leaders who are in front of their rememberies the honorees today you will file in order from the left of your squad leader you guys you're facing them they'd be on and so you're going to go from left to right if you're for, uh, for military this is dress right dress it does not matter of your affiliation or your faction. We're here to honor our community and these members. When you hear assembly trumpeted, that's when you will move. You do not move prior to hearing the assembly being played, which is a trumpet call. You will move. Make sure you press your T control so you will walk, not run or jog. You will walk. And for I uh, being to the movement there. Stand by. Company assemble. Taking the text ready. Go ahead, sir. 
All right. Uh, World War II Online community, thank you for making it out today to honor these four very fine players that we have in front of us. We have A.O. Mercy, Arceus, Mike, AZ, and Trevor. All of these folks were longtime members of this community, and your presence here today is really amazing. The scale of our game and the ability to hold this number of people uh, is outstanding. It's the reason why these players fell in love with this game and gave it so much of their time. Um, so I want to thank you for taking some time out of your day to be here. Uh, I'd like to thank many of the family members who are watching currently. Uh, we want you to know your your thoughts are with us and uh, our thoughts are with you rather, excuse me. And these folks meant a lot to us as demonstrated by almost 200 people who are here today to honor them. Your family touched this family. And uh, while this is just a game, it's much more than that. You all have heard this. I'm sure some of you have had the uh, great pleasure of explaining to your spouse as to why you needed to stay up all night to play this game. Or perhaps for some of these, Trevor being close to my age, for example, why we had to explain to our parents why we relate to school or why we stayed up all night. It's because of this game and these people and everything that it meant to us. So it's humbling to see you all here today. So th once again, thank you. I'd like to start by talking a little bit about A.O. Mercy, making sure you know who she was. Um, they referred to her, uh, A.O. Mercy is Angel of Mercy. Uh, she was a nurse for many, many years. Uh, she was highly competitive. You all would know her very well, particularly on the Allied side. If you were German, you know that she was uh, constantly um, on defense. You did not want AO Mercy to come at you because she was extremely good. And uh, we had many discussions over many years. She's one of the greats who has been here a very, very long time. And uh, her loss, like these other guys, uh, was tremendous. So... Um, I look forward to hearing from you and giving you the opportunity to speak a little bit more near the end of this memorial, if you guys would like to. Uh, for now, we're going to continue to go through because we have a lot of folks here and we, uh, I'm sure you all have a lot to say. Um, let's see here. Uh, there's so much more, by the way, I could be saying about each person. Um, I know you all have a, a thousand memories and many hours in game. Uh, just for perspective, I pulled a couple of very basic stats from each of these folks just to kind of demonstrate their commitment to the game. Uh, A.O. Mercy had 123,901 sorties. Her time on mission was, unfortunately, I didn't get that one, but it was exponential. Sorties are just simply when you spawn into the game, the number of times you hit spawn in. And uh, she spent a lot of time... Uh, hunting things down and her time on mission must be insane over the course of almost 20 years. And she had 38,316 kills for her entire career in the game. So thank you very much, AO Mercy. Uh, we will miss you. And uh, let's go let's ahead and go move ahead. and talk a little bit about Arceus. Arceus was brought into uh, Playnet or Corner Rat software. He was a rat brought in by um, Pilot MC. Uh, Pilot MC was our current system administrator. He was brought in to assist us with uh, what's called penetration testing and security to make sure that outside forces could not get into our infrastructure. Uh, while he didn't play the game too much, he was a big advocate for the game. I had a tremendous opportunity to meet with him, Pilot and Chim in California, uh, which is where he resided. Arceus was uh, technically deaf, but he could read lips. He could hear very little. Uh, he was an absolutely very kind soul. Uh, he unfortunately passed away very unexpectedly in his mid-40s and leaves behind a wife and several children. Uh, he was a good Christian man, and uh, we're going to miss him too. Uh, Mike AZ, as you know, was also a, a long time and well-known player. Um, 
He was in the off topic forum quite often, as you may know, if you venture in that area. Uh, he was a very level headed and a reasonable guy. Um, denoted by his rank along with A.O. Mercy's lieutenant colonel, which, as you all know, clearly demonstrates the long term commitment that a player has. That is the maximum player rank that you can obtain. Um, unfortunately, a lot of us did not know about his declining health. And so his uh, his passing was a bit unexpected and uh, unfortunate, of course. A couple of stats. Once again, it does not reflect the total commitment or time on mission and time played. Um, 23,840 sorties for Mike AZ with a total of 5,069 kills. And finally, uh, Trevor 8. Um, his family, I know for sure is watching right now. Um, I will say that, um, it was, we got to know Trevor eight. I did very well over the years. Um, we brought him into CRS to help us out with, uh, community management. He played both allied and access. Uh, most of the time on the allied side, he was 101st airborne. As you can see by his tag, he was part of Blitzcater, uh, near the end. Uh, he and I shared many hours of laughing and playing this game and others. Um, we we're of same age, so um, there's that. He uh, he did a lot of stuff in his life. Um, he was a firefighter. He was part of the National Guard, and uh, he was deployed, got combat time. Um, and he uh, also became a police officer in Louisiana. Uh, while he was a police officer in Louisiana, he was unfortunately ambushed by another prior veteran and, um, he was shot, um, bullet was stuck in his skull. Uh, he survived for two years and eventually succumbed to those injuries that he sustained while on duty. Um, that was a tough deal. Uh, but as I told him. And I quote, you're the luckiest son of a bitch I've ever known. And I mean that in a very uh, heartfelt way. Uh, he would get a good laugh out of that and said, yeah, I guess so. Um, his Southern drawl, you could hear his voice. I can hear it now. Uh, it was very distinct. You know, when he was speaking, he was a guy that when you brought a situation, he was able to size it up very quickly. It's part of his training, both as a MP in the military, as well as an officer uh, at the police department. Uh, Trevor was a guy that was very level-headed. You could have a discussion with, and he would be solutions-oriented and quickly determine what a solution needed to be. Um, I remember getting a phone call from uh, Von Douche. It was a Monday, I believe, and he said, hey, did you hear what happened? And unfortunately, uh, it was the loss of Trevor, and I just sat there dumbfounded on the phone when I heard this. I didn't know what to make of it. Um this guy could tell you a great story. Um, he loved his family very much. He was close to his brother, Sean. Uh, Tech 64 and I had the, the privilege to uh, meet Sean and uh, express our condolences in person at Trevor's funeral a little bit ago. Um, I don't know. It's just It's just tough. These are four tremendous powerhouse people that uh, this is a big loss to our entire community, and we will miss them all. Their contributions are no doubt uh, huge, and uh, our community is a lesser place without them, and so is the world. So um, at this stage, Tex, I'm going to transfer it back to you for the next move. Thank you, Zoom. At this point in time, I know that we're solely on Discord and for communication. And this is a difficult time in respect to how, because I know that if there are people who would like to be, who'd like to speak, this is an appropriate time, but we ask two things. One is that not everyone can speak at once, so we need people to be very cognizant of that. And secondarily, we need you to be brief. Otherwise, we would be here for, I know people would be willing to stay, but we have to be respectful of people's times as well. So who would like to speak next, please? 
indicate so. It's okay to go ahead and speak up. I think everyone's afraid of being the first person or talking over the first person. So I'll go. This is KRM92. I've been in this game for 21 years, I believe. And I've known AO for most of it. We both play Allied pretty... I'll say some. Pretty much all the time. And she was the best at defense. After a town was lost or taken, she was throwing up defense of some, say, taking an FB, rebuilding AI, whatever she could do. So my hat's off to her, and that is going to be sorely missed. Thank you, Cameron. Next. As a Luftwaffe trained pilot, I learned to fear AO Mercy that early on. She was one of the best damn AA gunners this game's ever seen. You knew better than to get near that town if she was there. Thank you. I know we had some other voices there. Go ahead. I want to, this is Jim. Uh, I just wanted to say I knew uh, every single one of the these four, and uh, I had the pleasure of meeting Arceus personally, uh, as Matt had uh, mentioned previously. Um, th this memorial it hurts a lot. It um, These players and these people uh, just impacted so many uh so many of uh, you you've got so many friends in this game and it just sucks to to have to do these uh memorials and uh my sincerest condolences to to uh, everybody the families and such um they were as they're loved in real life they they each one of these uh people up here were loved extremely uh by the community and uh, they they will definitely be sorely missed. Do we have another one? Go ahead. Yeah, this is Cobra. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, I'm going to miss um, all of them. They're um, dearly missed. And uh, as far as AO Mercy goes, I have known her since... Uh, Practically since I joined the game about 2005, 2006, and there there was no better than her as far as defense. Thank you, Cobra. Uh, do Ben, am I allowed to speak? Go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah, as as many players know, we've all played this game for many many years. Um, and the, the players we, we play, we've become family. I mean, we've various relationships, breakups, etc., throughout the years. And, and the, the players that we play with, they are our family. It is a community, and everybody will be missed, and we will remember them. Thank you. I appreciate, I, I appreciate everyone's patience and discipline. Do we have anyone else who wishes to speak? Ski 53. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Well, condolences to all the families. Um, I had the privilege of AO Mercy um, friending me on Facebook. She told me she liked my post, and uh, her and I used to do a lot of defense together. Condolences to all. Thank you. RJ555 would like a second. Go ahead, RJ. 
I uh, I knew Trevor. Uh, what I don't think I think it's been missed through all this is that we all come from different backgrounds, different races, different parts of the world. Uh, when we play in this virtual reality, uh, we do establish a family, a connection. Many of us were military, law enforcement, teachers, doctors, lawyers, but specifically firemen and policemen. Uh, the day that uh, Trevor got ambushed when he was recovering, I reached out to him because I was prior, at the time, active law enforcement. And we had several conversations about his family, about how much he loved his family, how much he loved his uh, his job specifically, and how much he loved this game and the people that are here. A.O. Mercy, likewise, we I would talk to her on Discord frequently. She was very passionate, just like all of us. We all get emotional in this play, in this virtual reality. But every single one of these individuals were quality, outstanding people. Sometimes we lose perspective in this world uh, until something like this happens. But I want to make sure that their families understand how significant and how much they touched each and every one of us. And uh, they will truly never be forgotten. Thank you, RJ. Text. I'd like to note that in light of what RJ said, which was good and powerful words among some of the others, is that each of these players have already had their name added to the uh, fallen soldiers list as well, meaning it will be forever memorialized in our game along with other fallen soldiers as well. I just want to point that out, that when he says they won't be forgotten, we make it a point to ensure that. And that Fallen Soldiers list, as we transition to our future games like 2.0 and whatnot, that will follow as well for the next generation. For those of you who are unaware, is that um, A.O. Mercy's son is here today. We um, weren't able to get him hooked up uh, on Discord, and, and that's a... Uh, it's a failure I'm planning on my part, so I apologize for that. Um, he uh, has texted uh, in game about how uh, his mother bought the game for him and um, how she continued to play the game after uh, under his ID and then transitioned into her own account and played, obviously, to her end. So he wanted to make sure that was communicated. She was very popular. It was her passion that made her popular. Legendary friend and opponent. Do we have any other speakers today? Yeah, this is Doc Seven. Uh, I, I just want to say, hey, Mercy was one of the greatest defense. I used to kid her about, about being the Ed nurse. And her and Blood and Gut is always busting FBs and doing stuff, backline and stuff. They were really good. Yeah, you say, Phil. Uh, I'll say something. Can I, can, I, can I just say one thing? Is there's quite a few people who want to say a few words, but they won't. Discord won't let them speak. Well, I just wanted to say she would often take the jobs others didn't want just because she was such a good team player. It's very unselfish. I never remember her being anything but unfriendly but friendly. Uh, for everyone who is muted on Discord, you should be able to now deselect your mute button if you did want to say something. Uh, we muted that earlier just to keep things rolling. Uh, try to, wh whoever just spoke, um, try to 
Okay, try to leave and then come back and see if that fixes it for you. Okay, well, everybody should have the ability to speak. So I would recommend to leave the Discord channel and then come back and that hopefully that resets it. Otherwise, check your settings at the bottom of uh, Discord and verify that that works now. Yeah, did that fix it on Discord or no? That's odd. What, what was the fix? I'm sorry for everybody watching, but we got like a lot of people in here we want to try and figure this out for. You might have to literally and manually uncheck the mute button at the very bottom of your screen. And somebody said it fixed it. You just have to rejoin. So if you're muted and you want to speak, leave the channel, come back, and you should be good. Also, make sure you're launching it by as admin. Run it as administrator. Can you hear me now? Yep. I hear someone. Uh, this is Doc. I can you hear me now? Yeah, we could hear you, Hawkeye. Uh, yeah, I had to go out all the way. I'm coming back in all the way, the whole game, everything. But yeah, I'll just say here while I got a chance. Uh, I've been with uh, the game since uh, it was June 01. So I'm pretty much a plank owner on it. And uh, all I can know, I just know uh, we would just meet out there somewhere on the field and all of a sudden, you know, we're out. Taking down an FB or one of the first people to go in and start an AO back when it was, uh, we didn't have to have an AO. It's just getting everything started, capturing the flag or hot dropping and all that. And I was always meeting up with her uh, in the weirdest places, but it was it was great to work with her. The only thing I, I can really say, I mean, my previous name I worked under was Bird, and then I went to Hawkeye, so. That's that's who I was back then. Thank you, Hawkeye. Is there anyone else here before we um, close out this period? This is Melcher. Um, been playing for about two years now, and just wanted to say thank you for everybody that's come here today to remember four lives that's been lost and um, very thankful to uh, play to get played alongside with AO Mercy and a lot of great players and you know, let's keep keep their memory living on thank you uh, I know this is this Hawkeye again there was another player I think it was Tom 73B if I remember his name correctly uh, from uh, North Carolina, Farquay Marina in North Carolina. And uh, he's been gone for over 10 years now, but he'd been around for a number of years and played until he died almost online. Thank you, Hawkeye. Thank you, guys. This, Go ahead. This is Quincan. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can. Okay, I just wanted to say I started in 2012, and AO was one of the first people to welcome me into my get into the game. Uh, she remained my friend until now, and she was always one of the best defenders in the game, and I was very proud to have known her. 
Thank you, Quinn Cannon. Okay, as we close out this section here in our memorial service, just have a couple more steps here. Um, the next thing that we're going to be doing is that the next we're going to do is we're going to have a, a short benediction from Zoom. After that, there's a slight change in our program and order of service. Our gun salute will be a rifle salute. And we'll do that in uh, in mass. And we're going to give a volley. Uh, we're going to fire. I will instruct you, ready, aim, and then we'll, then we'll have a command of execution. And we'll do that. I'll do that three times. At that point in time, that will be the end of our gun salute. You will remain in place until the honor flight passes over. Then you will be dismissed. So we're going to have the benediction, the gun salute, which is a gun volley repeated three times, the honor flight, and then we'll have a dismissal. Go ahead, Zoom. As we remember our friends who have left us, we ask for peace and comfort for the families and friends who knew each of these women and men directly. We strive to remain united as a community, giving forgiveness even when none has been asked for and offering friendship instead of anger or bitterness. Thank you, Zoom. All right, company. Ready. Aim. Fire. Cease fire. Thank you. We're going back to fire discipline. No more weapons free. Cease fire. We need your patience for a little bit longer as our honor, uh, honor flight approaches. You will look toward the podium. I would ask that you look high. And we're doing this out of respect for the four honorees as well as the pilots who have trained and have taken the time not to be in attendance this afternoon with you, but to have flown from a distant airfield and circling for time. And so we appreciate their professionalism, their discipline, and their willingness to honor our community members who have lost. So now we're going to be silent until you are dismissed. No firing, no speaking. If you wish to take a screenshot, that is your F9 key. Thank you. We may not be able to even see the planes. Uh, I figure everybody's 128. <laughs> the old 64 limit, but 128 limited out.
zero throttle. Uh, we should have did that when we were flying over. Did you guys fly over? Because from the ground, we didn't see anything. Oh. Yeah, we're we're not going to render them because uh, okay, we've got more than one twenty eight. Yeah, right we've got almost two hundred people on the game server, yeah. guys. So this is uh, this is a testament of an outstanding show up. And while World War Two Online skill is pretty second to none. There are some limitations. <laughs> uh, Tex, let's go ahead and proceed past this flight. What else is on the list? Um, I'm sure we just need to dismiss the formation. On you. Company. Visual limit, you didn't see that? No, we didn't. Company, you are dismissed. Thank you for your attendance. 